What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. We're not fishing today, but instead what we're doing is I'm gonna tell you about the new Daiwa Tanicom 1200. New to Daiwa, I think they're about a year old now. I'm not 100% sure. But we were looking for something to replace our Electromate that we got started on with the deep dropping. We bought the Electromate just to see if this was something that we would take interest in. It was, and we have taken off with it. We're trying to learn as much as we can about it. So we went ahead and purchased to the Daiwa Tanicoms. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you about the rod that we have it on, some of the applications about the reel, the plug, and our braid that we use. It's so far been a fantastic setup. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the plugs that we're using for our Daiwa Tanicom 1200, they're called crystal plugs. Um, it's what came on our old rod to begin with. We went ahead and put the female adapters on the boat. We've had no problems with them, so we went ahead and also put the crystal plugs on our Daiwa Tanicoms. I have two two outlets. I have one right there, as well as one on the other side of the boat, so that way we can fish two rods or one on each side. Super, super easy. They lock in place really nice. I've been very happy with them. Have no had have had no complaints. Can't talk. So when you buy the Daiwa Tanicom 1200s, came with a power cord. The power cord though came with the clamps for a battery. All we did was cut those off went ahead and ran our positive and negative straight into our plug. We've had no issues with them. They've worked fantastic for us on this rod and on the other one. Nice, go ahead and connection right there for it. Nice connection right there, Swivel, it swivels right on. That way when you're running from spot to spot or you're storing it, it's not constantly plugged in. Comes with a nice cap, perfect. So the rods that me and my dad have our Daiwa Tanicom 1200s set up on is black fin rods. They're 50 pound class rods. We have them on a Stuart bent butt. They're approximately a five and a half foot length rod tip. The tip is a little bit sturdy. I wouldn't mind having something a little bit lighter, especially so you maybe see the tile fish bite and such. We're still learning the deep drop in, uh, but these have been fantastic rods. A lot of good strong backbone, getting the grouper up and so on, the bigger tile fish. We're gonna try and explore our options, try and get some queen snapper, barrel fish. We're trying to learn as much about this deep dropping as possible. It's been an absolute blast learning. And this Daiwa Tanicom, the few fish we've caught on it have been awesome, super, super easy compared to what we used to have. So I'm not gonna get too in depth of what all the options are in the menu button. However, this is the only menu button that's where you can find all of the information that you want about the reel and so on. Change your units, change your alarms, uh, change when and where it'll stop, that sort of thing. Or when you're lining up or putting all your line onto the reel, you can have this is where you're gonna find out where your tensioner is and as well as your line data input where you can input how many yards you want. This is the main screen you'll have up while you're fishing. This is gonna be telling you how many feet or meters, I believe it is, that are out while you're fishing. There's your battery percentage if you're utilizing a battery. They sell the quick the batteries that attach, just a little battery pack. But I don't do that. I just go ahead and have two plugs on my boat that I utilize at all times so I don't have to worry about getting stuck on the bottom and having to crank it all the way back up. Right here is your winder. This is how you increase your retrieval when you're fishing. Right here is your drag. You push that down. It's actually very easy to use. I'm very impressed with that. Even while fishing with five to eight pounds, it's very easy to go ahead and disengage the, uh, the locks. You can go ahead and go into free spool and drop your weight down further. Here's your drag, it's very nice. Once again, you can increase or decrease your drag while you're in the middle of retrieving a fish. Even if that's all the way up while you're fighting a fish and you, know you need more drag, give that a couple little turns and you're good to go. If you just wanna hand crank it off the bottom about a foot or two, the handle is actually very easy to use. It's not as difficult as I was expecting. It's very easy to crank it up with that with minimal effort. So this reel has a braid capacity of a thousand yards of 80 pound braid. What we went ahead and did is we went ahead and utilized uh, 65 pounds of braid. It's been more than enough for all that we've done. We've already caught tile fish and snowy grouper on it. We have, I would imagine, 1150, almost 1200 yards of 65 pound braid. We had 80 on our other electric reel. We realized we could downgrade and we've been super, super happy that they're able to fit more on here. So if you're out fishing and you lose a lot of line because it gets stuck in the bottom or whatever happens, you still have plenty to go. A um, lot, lot less drag in the water, which is important while you're deep dropping, especially if you want to fish lighter leads. So 65 pounds, that's what we're running. But like I said, you have over a thousand, about a thousand yards of 80 pound braid capacity. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot for a reel. So while you're retrieving your line, the Daiwa Tanicom 1200 has a max retrieval speed of 140 meters per minute, max winding power 22 pounds, max drag of 50 pounds, 
and astonishingly it only weighs 72 ounces it's very very light so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this short review video of the new Daiwa Tanicom 1200 like I said before awesome reel highly recommend it if you like that video hit the like button and the subscribe button we will see you next time.